Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be taste testing a brand new product. This one is called Muscle Mac and it does require a little bit of cooking so I'm going to take you guys through that process right here in my kitchen. So I'm just going to quickly read off the description to you guys. This is called High Protein Muscle Mac Shells and Cheese Performance Nutrition for Active Lifestyles. Contains 20 grams of protein per serving. Now just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison, I also have the Annie's Homegrown Mac and Cheese right here, and per serving we're looking at six grams of protein. So obviously for most of us, 20 grams of protein is more ideal than six grams of protein per serving, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if the taste is compromised by the increased amount of protein in this product. serious question here do you guys wait till the water is just barely boiling or do you wait till the water is full-on boiling because normally I would go ahead and toss in the pasta now but I think I will just wait till it's boiling a little more <laughs> done cooking I have it right here and I'm not even going to lie right now <laughs> I'm really sad at the small amount of food that is in this bowl like I don't know how this is supposed to even fill me up but this is supposed to be my lunch and this is like this is not even gonna fill me up. Let's go ahead and read the macros off. So as I mentioned, this is one serving, which is 125 grams. You guys saw me weigh it out. Um, and in one serving, okay, there is 400 calories, okay? 14 grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. The most alarming thing about this whole nutrition facts is the fact that there is 1,030 milligrams of sodium in one serving. So that is 43% of your daily recommended max. And that right there is a huge turnoff in my opinion, but I already said I was gonna do this, so let's do it. So there it is, there's the mac and cheese. I mean, you know, what, what can I say? The, the cheese is thick, it's creamy. It really doesn't taste much different than any other mac and cheese you'd buy from a grocery store. Uh, the macros are obviously pretty similar other than the fact that there is 20 grams of protein. And it actually seems like most of the extra protein is coming from the pasta itself. They call it the Muscle Mac Pasta and they've actually added pea protein isolate, so I think that is where the majority of this extra protein comes from. Overall, the taste or the flavor has not been compromised, in my opinion, from this extra amount of protein. So would I buy this again? Probably not, um, and that's just because of the amount of sodium, and also just how calorie dense it is. You're not getting very much volume, and I'm, I'm all about volume. Like, when it comes to dieting, the thing that gets me through is eating foods with lots and lots of volume. So, you know, taking into consideration the crazy amount of sodium that's in here and just how many calories are in here per serving, I personally would not go for this again. But if you are the type of person that just needs mac and cheese in their life and um, 
you know, you want something with more protein, I guess this would be a good fit for you. So I hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight as to what this muscle mac and cheese is all about. Like I said before, if you guys have any requests as to other foods I should try, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I'm going to finish my tiny little lunch up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.